Hey guys, Alexey here, and I'm just looking at IPR viewports, and I decided to do a quick comparison of Thea, Octane, and Arnold, just on a simple cube scene. And I realized I could actually run them all at the same time. So this is what they feel like when I'm screen recording and running at the same time. You know, I try to match the lighting as best I could. As you can see, this is Arnold for anyone interested in <laughs> speed comparisons. Um, individually, I still think Theo is like the smoothest responding viewport there is. Um, I mean, Arnold's pretty close, especially with the PT thing, but I don't know how, I don't know, like I say, PMC is more accurate and PMC is, well, it's significantly less smooth. And Arnold, well, yeah, Arnold. <laughs> I, I'm sure it has, I mean, I know it has way more feature supported and stuff, but purely like, just if you want to render boxes animating, probably not the best go-to solution. Um, yeah, once again, this just buttery smooth and also connects to the viewport really smoothly. In Octane, if you're navigating the viewport, it kind of has a significant lag, um, even on PT. Oh, PT is pretty smooth. But I still feel like the noise cleans up a bit slower here. Ah, but it's in this... Make a more complex scene, but here it's indiscernible. Also, there's a obviously serious advantage that both of these guys have is that if I change the... If I rotate the light on these two, it rotates in real time, whereas Thea has to retransfer the render. And right now, I think having <laughs> three renders in a um, and a screen recorder is kind of not giving the enough CPU power to. Or maybe it's just not updating. And interesting. I should mention this to someone. No, it's okay. It's just <clears throat> because, yeah, clearly the CPU power was taken away from... Yeah, there you get the updates. But it's not live yet. It still needs to update for the sunlight. But, yeah, not a big deal. Pretty sure it cleans up noise faster. So there you go. Just a small little overview.